Selena Gomez unfollow Demi Lovato? Logan Paul gets banned. And is Oprah running for president in 2020? All that and more on today's Rundown. Welcome back to another episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown. It's your boy Emil Ennis Jr. here with Drew Dorsey. That's my name. What if I you like walk around and you're like, I got some Drew and I just pop up Dorsey. Okay. <laughs> Hi, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we might have some big Kylie Jenner news, and I'm serious this time, and I'm mm-hmm. gonna tell you all about that. But first, we need to talk about the Golden Globes last night. Please. The 75th annual Golden Globes were last night, and all eyes were tuned in for the historic night. Night. Yes, historic, not only because it's been around for 75 years, but mostly because of the movement to stand in solidarity and wear all black thanks to the hashtag Time's Up movement. Almost every person who walked the carpet did just that, and it was pretty incredible. Big Little Lies and The Handmaid's Tale were both big winners last night. Big Little Lies took home four awards. Nicole Kidman, Alexander Skarsgård, Laura Dern. Okay, and Emil, one of my favorite moments was Natalie Portman. She oh was presenting gosh. for Best Director, and they finished like the scripted part and then she was like and now all of these male nominees because <laughs> the whole category were all male there were no female directors true. so she had to call that out because you know uh time's up mm-hmm. diversity was also a huge word last night because sterling k brown and aziz Ansari both took home globes sterling being the first black dude in his category to win and aziz Ansari the first asian american another big moment everyone was talking about was the moment james franco won his golden globe and tommy Wiseau made his way onto the stage and tried to speak, but James was like, oh no, not today. And then there was the glorious moment when Oprah basically solidified her campaign for presidency in 2020. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. She went on to say, quote, and when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women, many of whom are right here in this room tonight and some pretty phenomenal men fighting hard to make sure they are the leaders to take us to the time where nobody has to say me too again. Oh, and then she said this, and let me tell you, there was not a butt left in a seat. She lived as we all have lived too many years in a culture broken by brutally powerful men. For too long, women have not been heard or believed if they dared to speak their truth to the power of those men. But their time is up. So I was actually in the room for that moment. God, and I was swear, it like? like, I can't describe the energy because it was just... Visual. Everybody loves Oprah. Like literally everybody loves Oprah and just seeing her on stage and having the impact, like saying what she's saying, like while that, it was just incredible. I can't imagine. But with all that being said, so during Seth Meyers opening monologue, he said some things about Oprah. And then we got some news this morning and now we're all shook. What? So during his opening monologue, Seth Meyers made a joke about how apparently Donald Trump decided to run for president after so many people said he was unqualified. He then went on to stare at Oprah and say, quote, Oprah, you will never be president, hoping that it will have the same effect. (laughs) Now, although Oprah laughed and shook her head at the cheers for her to run for president, it may actually come true. It may actually come true. I got an alert this morning and two sources close to Oprah are saying that she may actively be running for president. Oh my God, can you imagine? Drew? So two sources close to Oprah revealed to CNN News that Oprah is quote, actively thinking about running for president. The sources also said that some of Oprah's personal friends have been privately urging her to seriously think about running for months now but Oprah has yet to make a definite decision. This spike in interest to see Oprah run for office came after her incredible speech after becoming the first black woman to accept the Cecil B. DeMille Award last night. And Drew, if this happens, if Oprah won, (laughs) won, if Oprah runs, you have my vote. I will have chills. Ooh, if Oprah runs, I may have to be in the campaign trail because. Can she run with Michelle Obama as her running mate? Or can Michelle run and then Oprah be her running mate? Mm-hmm. They like, ain't ready I for can't, that. I they can't. ain't ready for that. Can Have you, you heard? Imagine? But there's been rumors that Tom Hanks is going to run with her. Yeah. Run, Forrest, run. It's just so funny that because Donald Trump became president, it's opened up our eyes to like now we're like electing celebrities. Well, yeah, because The Rock has been rumored to run. Uh, Kanye West. So we might have an interesting election in 2020. There might be a red carpet for it. (laughs) I know you guys have probably heard that Vine is coming back, Mm -hmm. known as Vine 2. And we're on the street is that Logan Paul is already banned from it. 
The account at Vine2 team tweeted, quote, Logan Paul has been banned from the Vine2 platform. We condemn the inhumane acts of the video regarding taunting a dead body found in a Japanese forest. There will be no place for toxic activity on our platform. They also added a screenshot of Vine's community guidelines and content policy, which the former Viner clearly went against. Logan faced tons of backlash in the wake of the upload and issued two separate apologies. In one, he said, quote, I should have never posted the video. I should have put the cameras down and stopped recording what we were going through. There's a lot of things I should have done differently, but I didn't, and for that, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. Logan later announced he's taking a break from YouTube to, quote, take time to reflect. Well, I guess he's taking time from Vine, too, because they said he can't come home. I, I'm honestly not upset about this, and the reason why is because I understand some people may, this may bother some people, that he doesn't even get a shot to be on Vine. Yeah. However, he went from Vine, he went to YouTube, he created like a huge platform, or not platform, a huge uh, following on YouTube as yeah, well, which yeah. every Viner hasn't done. Yeah. So like he still has YouTube, and if the team behind Vine doesn't want them on their platform, like it's their choice. I don't really think it's gonna necessarily hurt them. Yeah. It's, you know? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's consequences. It sucks that yeah. he made that decision and it's resulting in him losing it, missing out on career stuff, but. You know what this feels like? How it could be crumble. You saw I, Tanya, right? Of course, it was so And good. remember when um, Tanya Harding was banned from like doing any skating yeah. ever? It kind of feels like that, like he's banned from where he originally got famous from. If you don't know that reference, then it's fine. Wow. However, point being, it sucks, but I He'll be fine. Drew, my eye won't stop watering. It's true. I don't. I don't know you why. I can't see it, but it is. It validating. could be. Damn. Sorry, it just really got to call me out like that. <laughs> but it could be because there is some big Kylie Jenner news that could be revealed on Keeping Up the Kardashians. Like they don't know what it is, Drew. I can't. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but there may be some big news revealed. So basically, there's a trailer released, mm -hmm. and there's gonna be a two night event for Keeping Up Kardashians this coming Sunday and Monday. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple weeks ago, we talked about this whole mid season trailer because they released the mid season trailer a couple weeks ago, and then that trailer, it looked like they were gonna reveal that Chloe was pregnant. Okay. Since then, obviously, everybody knows Chloe's pregnant because she did her own Instagram post. She but did. in this new cut of the trailer, there's one thing that's a little different that now has me thinking, oh. Because when it comes to making announcements, the family's got news so big. What? We need Sunday. How are you, Corey? And Monday, just to cover it. Oh my God! So, if you remember the mid-season trailer versus this trailer promoting the two-night event, you may have noticed something different. Yeah, there are some different scenes in there. However, one thing that was brand new was there was a clip of the family FaceTiming Kylie, and they're looking excited, and they're crying like I am because, well, different reason. My eyes, something just wrong with it. Something's wrong with him. But they were crying probably because Kylie's gonna reveal that she's pregnant on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Maybe. I can't confirm that, but in the trailer they also said they're gonna reveal something so big. Like what? What we, else could it be? Exactly, because we already know Chloe's pregnant, so it can't be that. And it's there's big, nothing else that would be that exciting. It's a big belly. That's it's all. A, exactly. Yep. However, what do you think, Drew? Because I didn't really want her to reveal. I knew that they were gonna like show the whole process and like possibly do the reveal and keeping up Kardashians like some part of it. Yeah. But I, for whatever reason, I wanted Kylie to. Do something different. Like on Instagram? Well, I don't know. I, actually, I don't even know what I want. Yeah. Like what What will be? I think we're just, oh, what do you want her to parachute from the sky? <laughs> Wait, can With you the Goodyear blimp <laughs> saying I'm pregnant. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, Billboard Magazine caught up with Travis Scott mm -hmm. and they tried to get him to reveal. And let's just say he didn't budge like at all. So the interviewer said, have you spoken to your father about becoming a father yourself? And then Travis Scott said, uh, for what? And then the interviewer said, there are these rumors that you're dating Kylie and having a child with her. He said, I don't want to talk about it. They're just guesses. Let them keep fishing. She's pregnant. Why would he say it? He would have just said, she's not pregnant. Let them keep fishing. And you know what? We are going to keep fishing. And From maybe babies. on a Sunday or Monday night, we going to catch something. We going to catch a baby. You guys, over the weekend, Selena Gomez did a purge of her Instagram and I unfollowed the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Go ahead. Go Apparently, ahead. Selena does too, because she purged her Instagram account. Selena did a purge and unfollowed almost 300 people, bringing who she is following to just 37 accounts, which include a lot of brands like Puma, Coach, and Louis Vuitton, and kept friends such as Francia Raiza, Taylor Swift, Amy Schumer, and Jessica Alba. She unfollowed her assistant, Teresa Mingus, Gigi Hadid, and many other friends who she has posted with previously. But the one unfollow that had a lot of people shook was Demi Lovato. Just 24 hours ago she commented on Demi's recent photo saying fire and liked it so people were a little bit confused. She also changed her profile photo to a picture of her mom Mandy which comes just a few weeks after the two unfollowed each other on IG. Selena also posted a photo of herself sitting on the front steps of her childhood home in Texas with the caption the home I grew up in from birth to 13. In many ways it very well could have been better than my life today but I'm grateful for a voice that can enable change today even when I don't know how to do it well or actually want it. I love Grand Prairie, thank you. Wanna point out that Selena's mom still doesn't follow Selena, she's following Demi and she still follows The Weeknd, but she doesn't follow Justin. I mean, just when did Instagram become, <laughs> it's like, it's serious. If you don't follow somebody, it's like people take that as like you're not liking them well, or if you unfollow them. Well, yeah, because it's the same. Okay, so I'll be honest. There are certain people that I follow on Instagram uh -oh. that I don't want to follow anymore, but I know that if I unfollow them, they would know. They would know, or people are going to make a big deal out of it. It's not a big deal, it's just either we're not close anymore, or yeah. I just don't want to see your stuff. Right. Or it's my Instagram and I don't want you on my account. Right. I don't know, it's just one of those things, but people make such a big deal out of Huge. it. I mean, but like, granted, if you unfollow me though, Drew, I'm calling you out. I'm not, I, why would I unfollow you? But I, I have unfollowed people. Who you unfollow? I've, I've, I've unfollowed people and I've made the mistake of like following them again. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Goodbye. Goodbye. I cannot. <laughs> and then they notice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that because you'll, they'll definitely get a notification. If well, yes. You. Duh. Yeah. Okay, but then other than like breakup Wait, stuff, did you unfollow them again? No, I'm still You're following. You're still following? Because if I unfollow, it will make it seem like I care. Oh my gosh. We having a private conversation on camera. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Guys, I'm so sad because DHR is ending. Drew, can we do it again sometime was, this week? I was smiling. I had to fix my face because you said sad. Yeah, I hope we do it sometime this week. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> anyway, let us know what you think about this whole Logan Paul situation. Do you think mm. that it's fair that he's banned from Vine 2 before Vine 2 even becomes a thing? Let us know in the comment section below. Oh, also, I want to know, do you guys want Oprah to run for president in 2020? And who do you think her running mate should be? President Oprah Winfrey. Listen. Oh, P-O-W, <gasps> pow. Oh! <laughs> Maybe you would her campaign. Oh my God, that would be her campaign. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, you guys. Oh, let wait, us when know. Oprah sees this and she wants to Comment section, that. comment section, Oprah. Oprah He's excited. Love you. He's Pow. excited. Um, subscribe and come back tomorrow. Yes. You can find me at Emilinus Jr. Oh, me at Drew underscore underscore Dorsey. Bye. Before you go, click left to find out why Logan Paul is wanted by the police. Or click over to the right to see why he decided to take a break from the YouTube. Oh.